cooking with Faye. Always a pleasure cooking for you guys and cooking with my wonderful wife. So today we're going to be cooking uh, Bombay, Bombay burritos. burritos. And I can't wait to get into this one. This is going to be a very interesting dish. And it is vegan. Oh, yeah. So, no meat, but Russell is a vegetarian, pescatarian, some weeks, but he likes his fish. Just no meat. That's you all. like fish. I love fish, but I don't do meat. I don't do chicken. I don't do chicken breasts. I don't do steaks. I don't do those types of things. Um, I wouldn't consider myself a full-fledged vegan, vegetarian, whichever way you want to call it. They say pescatarian because I have days that I don't eat fish. I have weeks that I don't eat fish. I just do vegetables and natural, you know, and that's how we try to eat. changing his eating habits to eat healthy. And because he has started doing that, and I prepare a lot of his meals, I find myself going days without eating meat myself. You not do, intentionally, but... You do feel a lot better. It does a lot for the body, so... So we're going to get into this dish, and we want you to join us. All right. Now, yeah, see what Mama cooked up this time. A couple of the ingredients we're going to be using in here is going to be um, cauliflower. We have Chickpeas. Potatoes. Uh, onions. Garlic. Spices is going to be um, cumin, coriander, oil, and salt. And that's basically what we're going to use in this dish to put it all together. Um, one of the first things we're going to do is put the saute the, the, the onions and the garlic and then boil the potatoes while that's happening and put them all together and let that cool. That's going to be pretty much a spread. Um, you're going to be using some flour tortillas. Pretty much Indians use what we call a roti and that's homemade. Um, but for now, we're going to be using a gluten-free uh, flour tortilla. Um, you can use gluten-free or regular. Um, choose gluten-free because it stops a lot of inflammation, um, which me and my wife has been experiencing as we aged and got a little older. Um, the gluten is what pretty much causes all the inflammation, so it's gluten-free for us. Um, that seems to be working for me. Um, so. First, I'm going to give you guys uh, a little tip that I use when I do my garlic. I take it and I crush it, and it makes it a lot easier to just peel. So you just pretty much pull it out of the shell that's, that is in. Um, once you get that done, I have a nice little tool here, which we have a lot of gadgets in this house. And this is what's going to mince your garlic. And that's all it takes right there. And there go your mince garlic. Um, for the potatoes, I already have them uh, prepared. So they, pretty much for this dish, you just get some, uh, about 16 ounces of potatoes, um, quarter them. So quarter them, you just cut it in half, and then you cut it in another half. And that's your quarters for your potatoes. Those are already done, they soak it in water. Soak them in water if you're not gonna go right back to it, it stops it from getting discolored, brown, and all of that. Um, so we did some cauliflower already. So Russell was going to cut up some so you can see how you can um, cut your um, florets in smaller pieces. So pretty much the, the cauliflower, like, like the broccoli and different things, have what I call a heart. You know, like a pineapple. They have a heart, something, a stem, a hard stem. You don't want the stem. So you cut it in half and in a triangular uh, motion, cut it up to get rid of that. That's, you don't need, you don't need that. Then you take your, your florets and you cut the stem off it. And I'm gonna let Bay do this one and I'm gonna cut the rest. So it, the recipe calls for a smaller floret, so the smaller pieces, you can, you can break them off. The yep. ones that are much bigger, you can, you can cut them. So you make them smaller. Pretty much you just kind of dice it. You'll see the, each flowers have a stem. They have the stem. If you don't want too much of the stem, then you just shed it off like that. And there you go. 
I don't too much care for the stem unless it's broccoli. It, it, then I like broccoli, so I can eat broccoli any which way you make it. Cauliflower, a little different texture, but it's good. So now we're back here and we're gonna, gonna go ahead and um, season the chickpeas. And the cauliflower. And the cauliflower. So how much chickpeas is this? One can. One can and one head of cauliflower. cauliflower. The chickpeas are rinsed and drained. And then the seasonings for the chickpeas is the coriander, the cumin, olive oil, and the kosher salt. And you already measured these? Yes, but you're going to have to split the season up between So this is half and half of each. This goes half and each, right? Yes. So we're going to pretty much eyeball this thing here. Because eventually they'll both end up on your burrito. So you'll get the drift of the spices, a taste of each one anyway. And I was familiar with um, cumin, not too much with um, coriander. Oh, you know, well. salt. Yeah. We're going to have to get our hands dirty. Just with a fun pot coming. That's about half. See, that's good eyeballing. Look, half again. Perfect shot. You can do the cauliflower. <laughs> See how that works out? I got these done, so I gotta get the big bowl. She got the little sea puppies, and she gotta get the little bowl. The little sea puppies? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's the big dough. Well, or I can say, man, you can mix the ball. You can do them both, you know. Well, you know, I can multitask. I got two hands. Yeah. So you just incorporate all of this? It looks like they need a little more oil. Than yeah, you, the cauliflower might need a little bit more That's oil. what they say. Um, but I'll get you some. According to the recipe that we're trying to follow and stick to that, it's like, I don't feel it. Need some more. Something to substance to get in here and get it all wet. So, I need another tablespoon. That's a tablespoon. Mm, that's better. Much better. You don't want to drench your stuff in too much oil because then it breaks it down and makes it mushy, mushy. And since it's going in the burrito, I'm taking it like if you if if you want some mm. kind of crunched or some substance or something, this is yeah. where it's gonna come. It smells beautiful. Yep. Good stuff. So you put this, you're gonna put this on a parchment paper on a baking sheet and then you're gonna bake it for about 20 minutes in the oven on 425. I'm break my bath for more. Nope. See? Still got a stem. We don't and if it. I didn't say no this stem. is like a little vegetarian dish I Vegan. So you put them both on the same um, baking dish. And I'm just going to pour the chickpeas out right here. Spread them out and then Russ can do his cauliflower. Hey, Thank you. Looks good. Yeah, yeah, Love prepping yeah. food. Love prepping. Prep is good. This is where the fun part, and you know you're eating something healthy. Takes a little time, but you know, when you have time and you on a Sunday or Saturday or whatever, then you prep your stuff, and then when you, when that Sunday comes, just put them together so you have meals for the week. And I always try to do them this three is days ahead. Like cooking with bed, okay? You ready? Yes, ma'am. All right, we're back now. Uh, potatoes are already uh, cooked, softened, drained. So now I'm gonna add a tablespoon of olive oil. One tablespoon of olive oil. 
we're going to add back one, of the, one cup of the boiling water from the potatoes. We're going to add two to three tablespoons, to three tablespoons of curry, curry powder. I use badea curry. And now we're going to add our sauteed onions and garlic. Then we'll mash all of this together and get ready to put it on a burrito. All roti. Now be careful with these because you're doing it with hot water. Everything here is still pretty much hot. It's a little bit of what it looks like. Consistency wise, I'll break it down some more. I'm not gonna break it down too much because you want to have something like a substance in your mind, like a little grit bite or something. I don't want it like mashed potatoes. That's pretty much yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna move and let y'all see what it looked like when the chickpeas and the cauliflower looks like out of the oven and then Russell's going to um since we don't have roti because that would have been really great uh, we're gonna put the um wraps on and let them warm up and then we're gonna put this Bombay burrito together Ooh, and hopefully it is good girl we'll see and the roasted cauliflower, they are straight out of the oven. They are still hot. And I just wanted to give you all a view of this. They smell, mm, they smell delicious. So, Russell's heating up the frying pan so that we can put the wraps in and warm the wraps up because you like, you want to have your wraps warm when you eat this burrito dish. So, rub it on. We'll be back. There we go. Now I'm going to make base flour tortilla in this cast iron skillet. And I'm going to just watch it a couple of minutes, maybe five minutes on each side and rotate it. You'll see when it starts to cook, you don't want it to overcook. You'll start seeing the bub bub it's bubbling up on different in the corners or in the middle sometimes. You just pick it up, be careful and rotate. Or you can use your thumbs if you have thumbs, if you feel like a chef like me. Ready. <laughs> then you go ahead and use your hands. And that's basically all you're doing. You're just basically heating it up, warming it up. Now you see the, the nice chard on it, it's brown. There go the bubbles. And that's what you're looking for. Then you know it's, it's ready to come out. For now, we'll just try it, see how it come out. Let you guys know. Hey, it's Indian in this house today. You guys, let us know how what you think. And hopefully, when we are at your casa, we can experiment with these dishes. Yay! Okay. So Russell's now starting to spread the curry mashed potatoes. Let me try. Smells good. You know, I wonder if this thing would taste good if I had the chickpeas already inside of this curry, like how we really do West Indian style. Would you get a spoon this for thing the is um, be, um, chickpeas? And the cauliflower. Do what? I feel like what you heavy handed. I am heavy handed. I'm gonna put some on base. But I ain't gonna give her too much because she might think I'm heavy handed. I'm grown. I'm grown, people. What do you have to do with your heavy hand? 
So when people eat a lot. Just eat. Okay. That's enough for me. Then you add the chickpeas and the cauliflower on top of your mashed potatoes. You give me this little spoon. Because just put, pick it up and put it on there, babe. That's, that's all you're doing. It was so you wouldn't use your hands. I'm not going to use my hand, but I didn't need to... A little spoon. We got bigger spoons than these. How much you want? I got you now. Okay, that's enough for me. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's enough for me. Good. Let's see. Of course, we got organic spinach. Everything in this house is organic, just about. I break mine up. He breaks his up. Just put mine on there. I mean, it'll be better to, to, in the whole leaf because it won't be all over the place, but I don't mind. But then pick mine up and break mine up then. No, it's better that way because it won't be flimsy and fall out. I just like what you want. Yeah. Okay, so this right here is the next that you add on to it. You need a, a fork then. Is the um, pickled, pickled onions. I made those yesterday. Um, pickled onions. In the chutney, the cilantro chutney on the top. Mm, it smells so good. I love cilantro. And this wasn't hard to um, make either. You had to use um, vinegar. You could use white vinegar, red wine vinegar, or apple cider vinegar. Um, mm. Peppercorn, a little salt, mm -hmm. and it's red onions. And you let it simmer for about five minutes. And then you take it out and you put it in the jar. And that's it. Well, I guess my pickled onions look good. Yes, yeah, then add your chutney. Your cilantro chutney. That they said was in the recipe imperative that you have this. So as you can see, there's no meat on this dish. But you still get your proteins out of the chickpeas. You get your carbs from your floral tortilla. And you get your veggies from your spinach and cauliflower. Sure. Everything's <laughs> working out. We're going to find out what this thing is all about. So I'm going to let that roll his and test. It's going in and right See, I overloaded this thing. But it's going down, people. He overloads everything. That's right. JB. It's just about that world. Would you like to taste the Bombay burrito? <laughs> but can you even roll that? I'm going to figure it out. I just want to get it where I have the back of it where I can't get it. There you go. Like a little pocket. Mm. And then you close them up. Mm. Let you know. I can't even get mine closed. Mm. Mm. Good. This is really good. Mm. When I bit into it, it put me in the mind of when curry chicken. Yeah. The potatoes that be in the curry chicken. Mm. That's really good. It's really good. So, next time maybe I want to load it up like I did. But I'll tell you what, this oh. thing is delicious. all the spices, especially the cumin. And the coriander, I think we're tasting that too. Right. But it's really delicious. 
Mm -hmm. I would suggest you guys try this. It says that it's a uh, um, vegan. Is it vegan or yeah, it said main, vegan main food. But there you go, it's a vegan dish. But Russ is vegetarian. But you know, he floats back and forth. And me, I'm just helping my bag. Mm. I go sometimes three or four days without eating meat after I've done did all this cooking for Russell because I'm going to eat it too. I'm not going to cook all the dishes. So you like that one best? Love this one. Mm -hmm. Well, we want to say thank you for watching. And we forgot to let you guys know what today is. Today is Labor Day. Right. So, Enjoy this is our Labor Day meal instead of barbecue. That's right. So, again, thank you for watching. Bye bye. All right. Ciao, guys. See you next time. Maybe next time we'll do some barbecue cauliflower for a holiday. Um, come up with something.